it's Monique, owner of Club Rapunzel, and we're back with Club Rapunzel's Real Hair Talk. Today's guest is Rachel. Hi, Monique. Hi, you guys. I'm Rachel. I'm from New Jersey. And I am, too. And we're going to talk about Rachel's past, present, future coming up. Rachel, so Rachel, tell us about your hair growing up and when did you get your first relaxer? So hair growing up, you know, a traditional black woman, <laughs> black family, I would come down the stairs Saturday morning, first thing with my bucket of barrettes and, and hair products and I would sit between my mother's legs watching cartoons while she was braiding up my hair for the week. Um, so that experience, my hair was amazing when my mother was doing it weekly. She would shampoo it, she would blow dry it, she would braid it, she would plait it. She would put some barrettes just to make it cute. Um, but then I, one of my really good friends going into middle school, um, she liked to do, does everyone remember the peacock? No. With the hair wax? Well, you would put a high ponytail and you would put your hair into a peacock with hair wax and sizzle the mess out of it. So my hair started getting damaged and of course my mother started to notice. Um, and she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, that was me going to my friend's house early in the morning before school and getting my girlfriend, who was the same age, putting heat and wax on my hair um, before school and I would try to fix it to go home. Um, and then my first perm, I don't remember actually, it was definitely just for me. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who did it. Mm -hmm. But how old were you? Maybe 13. Okay. Maybe 13, a maybe young 12. Teen. I was a young teen. A tween. But I had the just for me perm. I was ready for it. And then I did it. I, I continued to perm my hair for years after that. All right. So your mom was doing it. Then you went over to let your friend do it. When did you start doing it yourself? And what kind of stuff did you try to do? Oh, so I always tried to duplicate what the cool kids were doing. Um, not a great parter, not a good hair carer. And so I had a lot of breakage. And then I started playing around with the newsboy. Does anyone, you know the newsboy haircut? And like Short in the back, long in the front, wispy. I thought that was the truth. And <laughs> I wore that for a while. But then I went through a stage in high school, later high school, where I wanted the plaque. Like, I wanted to look like Snoop Dogg. <laughs> you wanted to look I, like Snoop Dogg? I went through a Snoop Dogg <laughs> stage. I would, so, so I would have corals coming down all around my head. I would wear the button down. You gotta like, be collar. kidding. In Jersey? In Jersey. <laughs> in Jersey with, with uh, cargo jeans on. So I had the whole look. There are pictures to prove it, and I will not share them ever. <sighs> <laughs> um, but that was my, that's been my, that was my hair journey. And then I cut all my hair off and I kept it short for a very, very long time. And that was really it. All right, Rachel. So tell us out of everything, cause you know, we tried different stuff growing up and all you through adolescence and coming of age, but what was your biggest hair mistake of all time? The biggest hair mistake? And it's not so much a mistake, but it is a funny story. The first time I actually went to a barbershop, local barbershop, to get my hair cut. Um, trying to explain to the barber who was sitting behind me what I wanted, and then him just kind of starting to buzz me. <laughs> and looking in the mirror after it was done, he shaped me up in such a way, I really walked away looking like, like a boy. And then the very next day, I had to put my uniform on because I'm in the military. And... I literally like a boy, but it was sharp. It was sharp. He, he, it was, it was sharp. I would recommend him to most men to go to that barber. <laughs> Does not a woman? <laughs> not the place for girls. Probably not, not the Thank you so much, Rachel, for hair sharing with us. And so where can we find you and learn more about you? Um, so you can find me on social media. I don't know how much you're going to learn about me, but you can find me on social media at um, r.n.brinkley, and that's on Instagram as well as Facebook. All right, so go ahead and look in the description for that and follow Club Rapunzel and take a three, six, or 12-month hair repair and growth challenge. If you have a story to tell, we'd like to hear it, so comment below, and see you next time. Bye. <laughs>